High pressure preservative treatments allow timber to be used with real confidence in a wide range of end uses, from construction timbers to fencing and landscaping components. These controlled industrial applied treatments protect timber against the threat of wood decay and insect attack, greatly extending its service life and hoping to make the most of our only sustainable construction material. This video demonstrates exactly what is involved in a high pressure preservative treatment. The Tanalized E pressure treated timber being produced is treated with Tanalith E wood preservative from Arch Timber Protection. Tanalized and Tanalith are registered trademarks of Arch and only timber that has been high pressure treated with Tanalith wood preservative can be referred to as Tanalized timber. High pressure preservative treatments can be used on most commercially available timber species. The treatment is carried out in a fully enclosed timber treatment cylinder. These are usually operated by sawmills or timber merchants who have fully trained personnel to oversee the process and ensure it is carried out in a safe and effective manner. Prior to treatment the timbers will have been debarked and machined and profiled where required. The timbers are then dried down to a suitable moisture content to allow the effective application and penetration of the water-based wood preservative. This drying is achieved either by careful kilning or by natural air drying methods. Once prepared, packs of timber are loaded and secured onto a bogey rail system that feeds into the treatment vessel. The packs are stickered wherever possible to allow a free flow of preservative around the timbers. A full charge of timber is then moved into the treatment vessel and the plant operator will ensure that the cylinder door is safely closed and secured. Depending upon the treated timber's eventual end use and the timber species being used, the plant operator will have determined specific treatment requirements to ensure an appropriate and effective level of protection is applied. This will involve the choice of a particular treatment cycle in terms of the pressure applied and the treatment period. Treatments are usually computer controlled to ensure consistency and the control systems will generate documentation of each treatment to give traceability if required. High pressure treatments have the potential to achieve a high level of penetration of the preservative into the timber. The actual penetration will depend on the heartwood sapwood ratio of the timber, as well as the permeability of the species. For instance, a greater penetration will be achieved with a permeable species such as pine against the more resistant species such as spruce. A typical treatment cycle will involve the following process stages. Once the timber is loaded within the secured vessel, an initial vacuum is applied which evacuates air from the cells of the timber. The cylinder is then flooded under vacuum with the wood preservative. Hydraulic pressure is then applied allowing the preservative to penetrate into the timber structure to achieve a target penetration that is suitable for the eventual end use of the timber. A final vacuum extracts any excess preservative solution which is then pumped back to storage. The vessel is finally vented to normal atmospheric pressure and low pressure inside the timber draws in the surface preservative solution. Finally the cylinder is opened and the treated timber is removed and left to dry in a designated drying area. The treated packs are usually labelled to clearly identify the new value added product. The tanalized pressure treated timber that emerges from the vessel is initially a light green colour. Once installed, and particularly in outdoor environment, this colour slowly weathers to a warm honey brown and eventually to a natural silver grey. This change of colour is not an indication of any loss of preservative protection. Subsequent decorative finishes can be added to the treated timber if desired, but these will need to be maintained on a regular basis. High pressure treatments are also available that will add a rich brown colour to the treated timber. A new treatment option is Tanalized Clear, which allows the natural beauty and colour of the timber to show through and maintains a clearer, brighter appearance for longer. Because of the long life expectancy of the treated timbers, it is appropriate to use metal fixings and fastenings that will have a comparable length of life. One particular thing to note in terms of the performance of the treated timber is that whenever it is cut, notched or drilled during installation, the exposed surfaces should be treated with a suitable brush-on end grain preservative to maintain the integrity of the protection. 
For tonalised pressure treated timber, the ideal product for this is N-Seal. This is usually available from the supplier of the treated timber. For more details of high pressure preservative treatments and the range and properties of tantalised timber, visit the Arch Timber Protection website at www.archtp.com. And for details of the nearest supplier of tantalised E pressure treated timber, please contact Arch Timber Protection directly on 01977 714 000.